All right, let's make some chili. Everyone loves chili, especially this time of year. You've got a lot of meat, you've got vegetables, you've got beans. So if you leave it unattended while it's simmering for three, four minutes, it starts to burn on the bottom of the pan, then you have to start completely over. So what a better product to be testing today than a product called Stir. The automatic stir that fits almost any pan at the touch of a button. It's three speeds, it's interesting, requires four AA batteries. Before using stir, ensure that the legs are firmly pushed into the motor unit. There we go, nice and firm. Stir should not be left unattended. Stir's feet are food safe up to 125 degrees Celsius. This is the point where I'm gonna lower the heat and put it on simmer. So here's where our little friend stir is gonna come in. I'm gonna put it on speed one because I just need it to just move about the pan. Let's see, here goes nothing. Wow. Okay, so I wasn't expecting it to maybe just stay in one spot. Maybe if I start it in the corner, it will bounce around. It's doing its job, little stir. The bottom of my pan is not getting burned. It's keeping that up and moving. Now it says I can't leave the kitchen. It's kind of fun to watch. I wish that it kind of bounced off the walls of the pan and got all the corners, but I like my little stir. I think he's adorable. It's like a Roomba for your pot. It is, it is, right? You just kind of let it go around, stir up your pot. Um, I loved it because it was one of those things where it's like, I'm always in my kitchen doing 100,000 things. That's and then true. I'm yeah. like making a bolognese or a chili and then I turn around and I'm like, uh-oh. So if this thing's just going around and around, it's it's keeping your pot Plus moving. she's about to get a, a lot busier. I am you're expecting, you're, you're having a family. <laughs> I'm about to get a lot busier. But here, okay, okay, so if you don't have this lovely product, here is a way that you can save your bolognese or chili. We've all been in this position before where you're making a chili and you go and you're stirring it every few minutes and then you get the stir and you're like, uh -oh. or, you're, or you ask your husband or your friend to watch the stove and they and forget. And they forget, right, right exactly. exactly. Once your spoon sticks to the bottom of the pot, just like hands up, don't don't go in because you don't Correct. wanna get that burn into Do not stir, your... you can't get right. that flavor out right. once you stir it in. Right, so the best way you can save it, and I'm sorry you have to wash two pots, but this is the easiest way to save your chili. Yeah, it's a lot better than throwing it's, away it's a whole pot a full of food. A lot better, yes, yeah. exactly. So what you wanna do is you wanna get a clean pot and you just you want wanna to- hold it up and yes, I'll scrape thank for you. you. All you have to do is- Just lift the, the top of the product exactly. out. With, do not go near the bottom of the pot. You don't wanna get any of that char in there and then ruin the flavor of your chili. You could toss a little bit more stock or some water in here. And, and thin then, this out and you'll, you'll, be, be, you'll be back to good to You've go. You've saved your but. chili. It just needs more liquid. Hey. When you let that soak, and if you want to lift that up without scarring your pots or scrubbing too hard, mm -hmm. put some baking soda in mm -hmm. there, right? Comes right up. Put some baking soda yep. in there and let it hang out. 